I have my paddle controllers all cleaned, hooked up, ready to go because Atari 2600 Paddle Games Month is beginning with Night Driver for the Atari 2600, which according to the box art, a gigantic floating racer head is going to take on the entire field. Sounds like a blast. Let's go ahead and take Night Driver, pop it in my 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Night Driver was published by Atari and released in 1980. It is based on Atari's 1976 arcade game, which had a printed stationary car placed on the glass while the driver actually steered the course of the game. According to MobyGames.com, the Atari 2600 version was programmed by Rob Fula, who had later designed the classic Demon Attack. I'll put a link to a review of the 2600 version of Demon Attack in the description below. The manual opens with the following. You're in the driver's seat, and the track is just ahead of you on the television screen. Your car is permanently fixed at the bottom of the screen. All you have to do is accelerate and steer the car through one of four tracks. Each time you veer off the track and hit one of the pylons or hit an oncoming car, a simulated crash scene will appear on the screen. Night Driver is a single-player paddle controller driving game with eight game variations, half of which have 90-second timers and half of which with no timers. Both versions have a novice track, pro track, expert track, and a random track. When the left difficulty switch is in the B position, oncoming cars will give you a warning honk, but they are silent when it's in the A position. When the right difficulty switch is in the A position, your car will go faster than when it's in the B position. For the controls, you steer with the controller and accelerate with the button. Your steering is very sensitive and it doesn't take much twisting of the paddle controller to steer your car. Scoring wise, you get points for passing invisible checkpoints on the screen. Graphically speaking, I like the oncoming cars and the houses on the side as well as the nighttime setting although your car is very blocky. The sounds are fairly basic and borderline annoying at times but I did like that the cars do honk at me. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today. Currently at PriceCharting.com, the game has a value of $4 loose, $11 complete, and $55 new. So what do I think of Night Driver on the Atari 2600? I remember really liking this game as a kid, and today I still like it, but only on the novice course. Because your car never really moves, it can be hard at times to get a feel for the sensitive controls. This made all the other courses impossible for me to really enjoy. I simply crashed way too much on almost every twist and turn, and sometimes I got hung up in the pylons, crashing several times before I could break free. But on the easiest course, I actually enjoyed my nighttime drive, and I give bonus points for keeping the oncoming traffic on the left side as you'd expect when driving in America. Because I can only enjoy the easy course, it does limit my enjoyment of the game, but I still could play this one again. So where am I going to rank Night Driver? This one is going somewhere in the middle of my rankings. I do like Mashmore at 111, but I will put this over Planet Patrol at 112. So out of the 230 games have now ranked for the Atari 2600, Night Driver is pulling into the 112 position. Night Driver has really sensitive controls, and most of the courses are too hard for my taste, but it still can be a fun drive on the novice course. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter, and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. At this time, I'd like to thank Ron F., Jeremy L., Louis G., David F., and Stargroove for nominating today's game and supporting the show on Patreon. If you would like to sign up to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks, please go to patreon.com slash gamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, and remember not to drive too fast at night.